What's going on, young boys? It's your boy GB3. I have another video, bro. Yes, bro. In this video, I'm I'm gonna be teaching y'all what attributes and like what you should look for in a player, bro. So I'm gonna be teaching y'all like what badges you should look at when you buy a player, the certain attribute, like the shooting attributes, the defensive attributes, uh, even the sigs if you want. But stay tuned. I'm gonna teach y'all exactly which cards will help you win, which cards won't help you win. Let's get into it. Yeah. Alright y'all, so when you're first looking for a card, what you should do is always check the stats. For example, I'm gonna look up a budget player. Let's look up Hidu. I don't know how to say his last name. Hidu to this dude. He's a really, really cheap card, but also extremely good. I'm gonna show you why. So look, I check his stats. Don't don't look at him compared to Connie Hawkins. So he's 6'10. That's insanely tall. He has an 89 three ball. An 89 three ball, a 90 mid range. An 80 driving dunk, which is actually pretty good. He can almost speed boost. So after like two shots, he can speed boost. Because once it's at 83 and you make a shot, I think it goes up like plus one or like plus two. So like after you make a couple shots, it's gonna it's gonna go up to 86. He has pretty good defense for someone that's 6'10. Uh, his rebounding it is pretty good, and he's pretty fast. He's he's actually really fast. 85 speed. This is a 90 overall card that you can get for 6k right off the market. So that's you always want to just check the stats. So like if they have decent shooting stats, then it's, it's going to be a good card. If they have decent dribbling, dribbling stats, it's going to be a good card. So also you want to check the badges. So I always check if they have range extender because I love range extender in this game. So let's see. He has dimer. That's a dub. Slithery finisher. Dub. Bailout. Really good. Let's see. Quick first step. Extremely good. Unplicable amazing green machine hot zone hunter and he has range extender like range extender is a very very must need badge when you're looking for players so for example there's a lot of really good players that just don't have range extender so i know one for a fact rudy gay the diamond rudy gay that just came out what a couple days ago rudy gay the diamond one this card is amazing he has probably probably some of the best sigs in this game he can dunk. He's very athletic. 6'8. He's really fast. Uh, 85 three ball. I mean, 95 driving dunk. I mean, this card is amazing. Like, he has all the all the finishing badges. Acrobat, contact finisher, fancy footwork, showtime. Showtime is a really good badge. Difficult shots. Difficult shots. Uh bailout, quick first step, dead eye, hot zone hunter. But he doesn't have range extender. That's the only downfall about this card. It doesn't have range extender. So people will literally leave you wide open. And you're probably, you have like a, let's say four out of 10. Four out of, let's say you have a four out of 10 chance of making the shot rather than having like a seven out of 10 with a player who has range extender. So if you're looking for a player, I, I prefer to always get range extender. It's a very, very good badge. So the next thing you want to check when you're getting a new player is how is he going to work with your lineup? So with me, I only run five players. So I'm going to show you. Oh, hold up. I only run five players. I only run my starting five. That's it. I put in bronze players as my bench because it lowers my overall. Y'all can't see it right now, but it says I'm an 86 overall. So that means I play like lower competition. I'm not going to be playing sweats all the time because I have all these bronze players on my team. But let's say, let's say I wanted... I don't know. Let's say this this Dwight Howard. I put him in my team because I don't really shoot threes with my centers. I mean, my center. I don't run. I don't run plays. I'm an ISO player. I don't run pick and pop. So like, it's never gonna be open. I mean, he's really only gonna shoot a midi if he's on my team. And so he has a 79 midi, and that's pretty good. And I'm pretty sure he has catch and shoot. So you have to know like how you play and like how players are gonna work with your lineup. So with me, I pretty much just ISO with Zion, Cam, and john stockton i just use these two to hold down the paint and they're extremely fast and so like i can run presses with them as well like if i have someone like dirk let me show you or no let me let me use rudy gobert he's a really good example rudy gobert diamond oh pink uh yeah diamond okay this card is amazing i mean it can shoot the lights out the gym this card is amazing but i just can't use him because Look at his speed compared to uh, Dwight Howard's. Where is it? 64 compared to an 88. I mean, his shooting stats is 10 times better. He has a 92 three ball with range extender. 
hot zone hunter and green machine like this card is amazing but i just can't use him because i know that i don't shoot threes with my centers i, I just don't i'd rather have dwight howard protect the paint and grab every single re every single rebound rather than shooting a three with rudy gobert like once a game you feel me so like you you have to know your play style and how a certain player is going to fit in your lineup all right so for the last tip i'm gonna tell you all this don't limit yourself to a player that can only do one thing so for example i'm gonna I'm look up dirk he is a very very good example so dirk Nowitzki. so when i mean oh i gotta put the pink diamond so what i mean by this is don't get a player that can only excel at one thing but is not good at anything else so i mean let's say dirk for example he can only shoot that's it that's his only only his only factor that's good about him he can only shoot i mean he has some post moves but other than that he can't dribble he can't finish he's really slow you feel me you don't want to get players that are just going to limit your gameplay so like zion on the other hand he can dunk he can shoot he can dribble he can do literally everything in the game that's why i feel like this card is one of the best cards in this game but you do not want to limit yourself to a player that can only just dunk or only just have good defense you don't want that because you want to you want like a dynamic a, a player that can do anything on the court so another example i'm sorry i'm using all these good cards but dwight howard not only can he really really rebound the ball but he's also stupid fast he's he can finish extremely well around the around the rim he has i think every big man contact dunk he can't shoot but he has extremely good defense which makes up for that but like how i said dirk i mean dirk he's i mean unless he's 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 like a a slug on defense he can't really do anything other than shoot so make sure that you get a player that can excel at more than just one thing if that makes sense all right so that ends this video but if you liked it please drop a like and subscribe bro we're on the way to 1k so like I said, if you if this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, please drop a like or share the video and drop a comment. Just let me know. But it's been your boy GB3 and we out, y'all. Peace. I ain't been home in a week. I'm going off the gas and geek. Bitches be needy. Pimpin' ain't easy. She wanna fuck on a beast. Brought the bitch back to the east. Bitch, why you playing with me? Bitch, you ain't staying with me. I ain't been home in a week.